Hi everyone, welcome to our Jira how-to video series where we cover the most commonly asked questions about Jira. I'm Nikki from Jexo and today we will have a look on how you can create a board in Jira with multiple projects. Creating a board in Jira with multiple projects is much simpler than you would think. All you need to do is to go to your, one of your Jira projects, then click on this arrow button over here and then select create board. Now here you are prompted with this dialog which asks you to select what kind of board you would like to create, either a scrum board or a Kanban board. You can think about it like this, if you would like to run a sprint, kind of like a time-based sprint with your team and do a little bit of tracking on that, then scrum is perfect. If you are not time-bound and you are a little bit more flexible, Kanban is great. Our teams usually go for Kanban because we are not that stressed about the time all the time, so uh, we are just going with these. So I will just click on create a Kanban board and then here you have a three options. The first one is to create a completely new software project, which is not the one we are going for. We would like to select the second one, which is uh, create a board from an existing project. And then you click on next. Now here, First, you need to give your board a name. So for example, I will say portfolio board. And here in the project field, you need to select a project. Now you can select multiple projects, not only one. It might look at the first side that you can select just one project, but you can select actually as many as you need. So for example, in my case, I run product team and we do develop a multiple apps at the same time. And each of our apps has a different Jira project, just so we can separate the tickets and the bugs don't mix with each other and so on. So in this case, I would just select all my application projects so I can track them in one place. So I have a driver's app, delivery app and riders app. And then the last, I need to select a location. So where am I going to be able to find this board? Uh, which project can I access it from? Now, you don't need to necessarily worry about this one that much because you usually can access the boards from a different projects as well. So uh, you just select the one that is most convenient for you. So for example, I will select this driver app because that's the project that I'm using most. And then you just click on create a board. And once you have this, you are still in your driver's app project, but your board that is selected here is a portfolio board. You can easily switch in between the boards. So for example, this driver's app project has a board DA and a portfolio board now. So I can easily switch in between these two from this dropdown, but you can also find uh, other boards from other projects in this drop down over here. So that's why I was telling you not to stress too much about the location of your board. This is a very, very simple setup for your board. You just have uh, three columns. You don't have any backlog yet set up. So if you would like to go and customize this board a little bit and you would, for example, want to have a multiple in progress columns and you would like to have a backlog column as well, uh, then you can click here and then board settings and go to the columns section over here. And here you can just easily drag and drop. So for example, if I want to activate the backlog, I drag and drop backlog to Kanban backlog column here. And then backlog was activated. So I can now use the backlog in this board. And you can also create a multiple columns here. So for example, I would like to have a QA column. And then I just move the test here. And maybe I want to have a um, kind of like design column and I want to move it before in progress and move the requirements here. So now when I've done this and I go back to my Kanban board, you can see that I already have a multiple columns. I already have issues in them from uh, these different projects that I selected while I was creating the board. There's also a little trick that you can do if you create the board with uh, multiple projects in it, you might want to also quickly filter by a, uh, your board by a project. So what you can do is you can create a board filters. So you click here on a quick filters and here you can predefine your quick filters. For example, delivery app is one of my, my apps. And then here you specify the JQL. So it's going to be project is delivery app.
and for example, Riders app as well. And I also have a Drivers app. I created these filters and when you go back to your Kanban board you will be able to find them here under quick filters and when you click on these buttons for example I click on the drivers app here then all the issues only from the drivers app are filtered out and I can see them you can also select the riders app here so here I can see all my riders app project issues or the delivery app project issues now this was just a simple uh, search query you can also do more complicated one like for example give me all the drivers and riders app issues that are bugs or uh, that are bugs that are in backlog for more than a month for example and you can do this kind of a filtering that will help you with triaging or managing and planning your project and that's about it. I hope that you found this video about how you can create a board in Jira with a multiple projects useful. If you liked the video, you can hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for the more videos like this.